Okay, welcome back. Uh, last time we built the water molecule, and today we'll use the quantum chemistry program ORCA to optimize the structure a little bit. Let's open the console. And navigate, do cd my dash doc, and then I hit tab to complete, and calcs, and h2o, and there we are. There's that model.mopac file that we saved. Let's check it out first in Molden. Oops. I wanted to type Molden and then model.mopac. And there it is. There's the model that we built last time, the water molecule. And let's just save it by clicking right in the Molden control as an XYZ file. Call it model.xyz and then just hit return. Click the skull and crossbones to quit out of Molden. List and there's the model.xyz. If we want to see the contents of that model.xyz file, we can use the program more. Just type more space model.xyz and there's the contents. You'll see that an XYZ file has the first line that has a number. Here it's three. That's the number of atoms in the in the structure file. And then for each atom, it has the the X, Y, and Z Cartesian coordinates for each atom. It placed the oxygen of the water molecule at the origin of our system, so its coordinates are zero zero zero. And then the hydrogens were placed. Uh, one of them at zero 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 point nine five and one of them at 0 0.890 minus 0 0.3. And that gives the structure that we built using Molden. Now what we need to do is create an input file for ORCA. ORCA is the quantum chemistry program that's going to be used to solve the Schrodinger equation for this molecule and get the optimum distribution of electrons around the nuclei in this molecule. and we need to give ORCA some instructions, and we'll do that in a very simple two-line input file, which we're going to create right now here in the console using the text editor VI, or VI. This text editor VI was written by Bill Joy, the founder of Sun Microsystems, when he was a, a graduate student. And it works very well, and it's very fast and simple. There are a few commands that you need to learn in order to use it, Let's create a new a text file called vi. Uh, we're going to call the new text file job.inp. And I choose that name to remind me that this is going to be an input file, a job for ORCA. Return. And now we're, we're in the vi text editor. And you can use any text editor you like. There's a simple one actually included in the distribution. Um, up here called edit, but I like VI, so I'm going to show you how to use it. It has two modes, insert and command, and so if you're in insert mode, that's when you're actually putting text in. I'm going to I'm going to switch to that mode by just hitting the I key, and you'll notice that at the lower left here, a little I came in. This tells us something about what VI is doing, and now the first character up here on the first line is going to be an exclamation point and I type that in and then I'm in a space and I'm going to tell ORCA in this instruction file to optimize using the routine called good-opt. That's a routine that tells it to use a form of density functional theory to um, take the input structure from our XYZ file and optimize it at a good level of theory. If we wanted to we could do ACOPT instead, which stands for Accurate Optimization, which is a more expensive calculation that would just take a little longer. So we're just going to do good opt at this point in time. And that's all that needs to go on line one of our input file. 
On line 2, I hit return. We're going to specify the Cartesian coordinate file. And that line starts with a, a star, and then we space, and then we're going to put XYZ file to tell ORCA to look for our XYZ file. And then we put in a 0, and then a space, and then a 1, and then job.xyz. No, our file is called model.xyz that we just saved with Molden. Now let me just go back here and show you that we have this 0 and the 1. And this is to tell ORCA that there's zero charge on the system. It's a neutral molecule. And then the 1, uh, the 1 tells us that this is a molecule in its singlet state, meaning that all the electrons are paired up in this molecule. Some molecules are radicals, and they have an open shell of electrons, and they might have different spin mul multiplicities than one, but the water molecule that we're going to calculate is the normal, all electrons paired up water molecule with singlet multiplicity. And believe it or not, that is the entire input fire file that we'll give to ORCA to tell it to optimize the structure at the level of theory referred to by the good opt keyword. Now to get out of insert mode in VI, just hit escape. And that little I went away down here. And now you're in command mode. Uh, type the colon. You see it appears down at the lower left. WQ for write and quit. And now we're out of VI and we're back in the prompt. And I can do list. And now, in addition to my model.xyz and model.mopac, I have a job.inp file. Let's look at what's contained in job.inp by typing more job.inp. And that there is what we typed when we were in VI. And so this is just a two-line text file that contains instructions to tell the program ORCA what to do. So now we have to run the program ORCA and optimize the structure. And you might want to pause the video after I type in the next command so that you can make a note of it. It is, we're going to call the program by running ORCA, O-R-C-A, and we need to give it the job.imp, that's the input file name, and then we're going to do this uh, greater than ampersand, that's going to tell it to run the program and put it running in the background. And then we're going to want it to write all the output to an output file. And we're going to tell it to call that job.out and then ampersand to put that in the background. And so that's the command for running the quantum chemistry calculation on that model.xyz water molecule. And so I'll hit return and that program should now be running. You can see here it's indicated as a job number one uh, with 24320 job number. That doesn't mean any matter to us. I'm going to run the program tail dash f job dot out so we can see the progress of this calculation. And what it's doing is trying to minimize the energy of this system with respect to the nuclear coordinates. So it took our initial guess input file and it's solving the self-consistent field cal uh, equations to uh, find the wave function for the initial structure. And then it has an algorithm that it goes through to uh, change the structure a little bit in a way that brings the energy down. And it'll keep doing this, going through uh, iteratively, uh, solving the wave function for each new structure progressively lowering the energy of the entire system until the energy and the gradients of the energy go below uh, some kind of a, a default threshold and then it will decide that the, that the structure is sufficiently minimized at this level of theory and it will stop and we'll have a new structure and you can see it's just going through and, and running through each new structure and this takes a minute or so uh, on this computer. If you can imagine that if we were trying to do a calculation on a much larger molecule, that might take, um, might take many minutes or hours, depending on 
the computer that we're using and how big this calculation gets, how many electrons are in the system. In this case, the oxygen molecule is contributing uh, six valence electrons, and the hydrogen atoms are each contributing two valence electrons. So we have eight valence electrons, plus we have the two core electrons from the, the oxygen of the water molecule. So this is a ten electron system with three nuclei. It's a fairly small molecule, um, but this level of theory, it still takes a minute or so to get the wave function and to finish and get the final structure. And you can see that it actually took two minutes and 12 seconds uh, for ORCA at the level of theory referred to as good opt to uh, find the minimum structure and the wave function for that structure. So um, I'm going to quit out of that tail program which allowed us to see job dot out as it was being written. By con I'm going to hit control C and get back to my shell prompt. And there we are. And now I'll do an LS and you can see that we have a bunch of new files here and they include job.opt, the one that we were watching as it was being written using the tail command. Um, but the most important one that we have right now, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a different type of list. I'm going to do a list dash LT. Um, that shows them in the order that they were written, all the files that are in this directory. And the job.xyz file is the final structure that was produced by this good opt program, good opt routine of ORCA. So let's take a look at job.xyz using molden, M-O-L-D-E-N space job.xyz. So now what we have here is a structure that was improved relative to the initial one that we built in, and improved using um, quantum mechanics. And so let's go view the structure. Um, what was the bond angle of the water molecule according to this calculation? I'm clicking on the atoms to find out. So the HOH angle was optimized as 1.5.68 degrees. Okay, not so different from what we inputted initially, which was closer to 109 degrees. And what about the bond distance? Uh, this, this program optimized it as 0.97 angstroms, whereas the initial guess from Molden wasn't too bad, 0.95 degrees. Um, and there we are. So we have this optimized structure. And in the next video, what we'll do is we will calculate a higher level uh, wave function for that structure that we just optimized. And then we'll we're going to be going on and, and using that to uh, reinterpret the electron density of the system in terms of natural bond orbitals where we can s visualize all the electron pairs in the molecule. You're going to see that the water molecule actually has two lone pairs on the oxygen and they don't look the same. They, one looks different from the other. And we're going to see how they look different. And we're going to be able to see the bond pairs that hold the oxygen to the two hydrogens. Okay, so that's it for today.